The lawsuit charges that USA Diving knew there was a problem, but failed to adopt any policies, rules, or procedures that would protect its athletes from sexual abuse. The lawsuit was filed by two women in U.S. District Court in Indianapolis against USA Diving, Ripfest Diving in Hamilton County, and owner John Wingfield, and Yohel Ramirez Suarez. He's the Ripfest coach who was arrested last year on 32 counts of child sexual abuse against another teenage girl in the program. Ramirez pled guilty to three counts of battery. The lawsuit claims Ripfest owner and former Olympic diving coach John Wingfield received numerous complaints about Ramirez sexually abusing divers, but Wingfield dismissed the allegations. Ripfest issued a statement through a spokesman. Yohel Ramirez's conduct is completely unacceptable, and Ripfest diving has zero tolerance for this type of behavior. Last year, when we became aware of allegations against Ramirez, we immediately removed him from our program, instructed him not to return to our facility pending the outcome of the investigation, and terminated him. Ripfest Diving remains committed to providing the highest quality training for our diving students in an extremely professional and safe environment. But the lawsuit claims the environment at Ripfest actually enabled sexual abuse. One plaintiff who worked for Ripfest says she was sleeping in the dorm in the fall of 2016 when she awoke to Ramirez sexually assaulting her. The other plaintiff was just 16 when she says Ramirez recruited her to move from Michigan to join the Ripfest program in 2015. Within a couple of months, she says he was routinely sexually assaulting her during stretching exercises. One of the two women filing the lawsuit against USA Diving is expected to testify before a U.S. Senate subcommittee on Wednesday. I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.